Hey guys, it's Donna, and I'm going to give you an update on the potato beds like I told you I would. <laughs> There's a lot of traffic today, so I'm sorry for the noise. But anyway, we get the kiddie pools, and the kiddie pools are about three feet wide and probably, what, about six inches deep? So obviously not big enough to do to make our potato plants all by themselves. So what we did is we added cardboard around here as the plants grew. And now I would say they're probably, well, they're up to my knees. So, and some of them are higher. We had these uh, larger boxes. And what I did is ask family to please, um, today's the first day of letting people out of quarantine. So there's a lot of traffic on the road. Uh, so what we did is ask family to save boxes, we save boxes and we put them in here. One quick note, if you're going to do this, I suggest you pack your boxes already and put them in because they were a little hard to get down into the pool and we didn't want to mess up roots or anything so we had to, that took a little bit of time, but we did it. And yes, I know, as the cardboard gets wet and it rains or we water, that the cardboard might break down. The next step is to put chicken wire around here on the inside of the pool to help secure this in. Hopefully that'll work. Just letting you know that I have three different varieties of potatoes right here. Over in this box over here, I have red lasotas. In this kitty pool box setup, I have Kennebunks. And over here, I have um, Yukon Golds. So you can see that they're all thriving. They're all doing well. We, As the plants grew up, we were putting more dirt in there. So hopefully, we will get a uh, good harvest out of this. Now, Right over here, and you can say where you're at, uh, is our cauliflower. I don't know if you can see it. Here. There's cauliflower all in here. Anyway, we're getting to the point that we're covering it with the leaves so it doesn't get sunburned. The, the good thing about this section of the yard is that this gets morning light and so it's shaded over after um, by lunchtime so it, it, it gets sun but it doesn't get the burning afternoon sun let's see and we're just covering it up so that it can grow and not get sunburned back here these are all in kiddie pools. Now that one is probably about, what, five feet across? So these are a little bit bigger and probably about nine or 10 inches deep. Here, the same size as what I've got the uh, cauliflower in, I've got cabbages. And as you can see, they're starting to form some nice heads. So we'll have cabbage here shortly. In one of these smaller pools, I have onions. You just put onions in. And it makes it really easy to weed. I mean, you know? Weed, weed, weed. Okay, now, the, I'm showing you all this to show you that you don't have to have a huge yard. You don't have to have, um, you know, even a quarter of an acre. You can have a poach, postage stamp uh, area that you can grow a lot in. Right here, these are five and a half gallon trash cans that I just drilled some holes in around the sides, on the bottoms, and I'm growing some heating. There, there's just so much that you can do. Um, years because we had the flood. Uh, we just put some cages up 
And I've got, what do I have back here? Butternut squash. Can you see back here, Joel? Mm -hmm. Okay. Butternut squash and um, spaghetti squash. That we will just let the vines grow up and over and we can reach in there and harvest. Now I do put, you see, I am putting cardboard down as a weed barrier and if I get it, if I get free wood chips, I throw the wood chips on top. It really helps a lot. But again, this is just to show you, in a small area, you can grow so much food. You really don't have to, to have a lot of land. Um, broccolis and bags and cabbages and cauliflower in pools and also uh, potatoes, zucchini in trash cans. I mean, don't let your limited amount of land limit you to what you can grow. Every little bit helps. A five gallon bucket for a tomato plant, a five gallon bucket for cucumbers. But mainly this video was to show you that you can grow potatoes in, in a kiddie pool. Some dirt, a kiddie pool, your potatoes, and some cardboard boxes. And there you go, you've got potatoes. As always, have a safe and blessed day and share your knowledge.